Welcome to the Dog with the Blog review while eating lunch with your boy. Okay. Hey guys. Hope you all are having a good day on your first one of spring break, most likely, if you're watching this. I want to start this off with showing my dog, Millie, Louie, and of course, most of the all favorites, definitely mine, Daisy. Okay, she's such a good dog. Now, you guys are asking, okay, so why are we doing another uh, review of a show? Well, because I have nothing else to do. Now, I will probably start a Power Rangers review eventually. And just because I need to start watching Power Rangers again on Netflix. I was watching um, Mystic Force, which has a great theme song. But right now, we're going to do Dog with the Blog. Because, obviously, I need to get you guys introduced into how the series works. And I want to do it with the show that most of y'all have watched. Dog with the Blog follows the show. Um, follows a dog with a blog. But he only blogs at the end. Kind of weird. Now, we have five elements. Characters, plot, theme song, um, what it did, like, outside of just, like, what did it, like, appreciate, what did it do for society? I know, kind of funny, haha, meme, society. And then number five, could everybody enjoy it? And let's start out with characters. There's the two little girls, the parents, obviously Stan the dog, and then the older brother's funny, funny character guy. Now... This show really asks, is a talking dog that weird? And why do I say this? It's kind of like, when you were growing up with something, or you know something in your heart, is it that odd? The answer, no. You see, the characters, um, the children, n know about the dog talking. The parents do not, up until the last episode, I know that's a giant spoiler, but y'all should have seen it. And then, they kind of like, show that it can talk. And then everybody's shocked or whatever, and then they try to steal the dog, but they're like, don't steal our dog, this is our dog. You know? And it's weird, because they, they covered it up from their parents the whole time. Which really teaches a lesson, but we'll get to that later. Now the characters, are they likable? The mom, she's actually pretty funny for a mom Disney Channel character. The dad, he's kind of a therapist, but that's kind of relatable, because like, my mom's kind of a therapist. Um, and that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Um... The one girl who seems like the main character with Stan, she has pretty good character development. Um, and she can also sing very well, pretty good. Um, then the other one little girl, uh, grew up to look like, uh, the, the girl from Brave. Yeah. Um, and then there's the older brother, who is great. He steals a pig in one of the episodes, just great, funny stuff. It's amazing, okay? Overall, with the characters and cast, you know, kind of evening it out here, I would say it's about a 7 out of 10. Just keep that in mind, 7 out of 10. Alright. 7 out of 10 on there. Plot. What was the plot? What was the point that they were getting to through the whole entire show? Well, that's actually pretty difficult. Because you would think it's the kids eventually realizing we should have just told the parents all along. But instead, it becomes, it becomes, um, why did we tell the parents? Because now everybody knows and they're kind of mad at our family. Which is a weird twist. Because if you look at it, you would think with such a simple Disney show, why would they try to make it such a confusing meaning? It's because this show is not only made for kids. So first of all, we're going to have to put the plot down as a six. Just because most of the people who are watching it are kids, so it's very hard to understand. Luckily, I understood it because of my brother, but that's a 6. So right now, we're at 13 and 20. Not great. Here we come to the can adults understand it too. And that's where we get to yes. They understand the parents' struggles and the parents wanting to understand what's going on. That's pretty crazy. But in one episode, the parents know secretly that the dog was um getting helped out by the kid right now for some reason the parents cannot comprehend at the moment that why would it be able to get help by the kids unless the dog can talk but at the same time you got to realize this is like a real world like we're living it so it's kind of weird like that i'd give this a nine out of ten 
Now we're to 22 out of 30. Next up, we come to the, um, the society. How did it impact society? Interestingly enough, I think it impacted it pretty well. There's episodes with, like, dudes being, like, really mean to, like, the girl. And then there's, like, one dude who's just, like, very confusing and stuff. And then there's this other episodes where, like, the parents get into fights. Like, real, actual, like, kind of fights. Like, not fighting, but, like, verbally. Which some kids can relate to if they've had divorced parents like me. Um. And it's weird because they actually let those episodes air. They Once on Sesame Street tried to uh, uh, air an episode about divorce, they stopped it. It's kind of weird, right? Because now Sesame Street is letting, like, all sorts of things happen on their show, which is good. Very progressive. I like that. But... This Disney Channel show, out of all the shows, really touched hard on that. They never got divorced, none of that, but the parents were aware of it. I mean, I mean, the kids were aware of what was going on, and like even the youngest one, and they weren't covering it up. It was very realistic. That's why I'm going to give that a 9. A 9 out of 10. So now we're at 31 out of 40. And man, oh man, was this theme song good. They go all across everywhere. The dog jumping in front, all this stuff, whatever. But there was really no vocals, none of that. I give it another 9 out of 10. That's a 40 out of 50. Double that up, 80 out of 100. That's a B minus. Now, is a B minus good or bad? The answer is, y'all, very good. You see, it's not really about what the grade is. It's about how hard that grade was worked for. Now, I'm going to get into some more stuff now, more personally. So you can leave now if you want. I get it. You, most of you guys have already left. Now listen. Life recently has been strange for all of us. And it kind of makes you question. Why was this random show about a dog who could talk and blogged about it? Why was this so... Special to anybody. Now, I would say mostly, like almost 100%, Lee, is because this show meant more than just it's a dog talking. A lot of the older shows we used to watch, we have good memories of because they helped us through some troubling times. I remember I watched Dog with a Blog with my mom's um, second husband. When she was with her second husband. I did not like the guy at all. I'll be real with y'all. Um. Not, not, not her first husband. I love my dad. But, um. I did not like the guy at all. And somehow this show kind of brought me through it. Understanding that it's okay to be a kid and, like, not really love what your parents are doing. But still respecting them as a parent. Because, like, I never disrespected my mom. I just didn't like that she was married to this guy. So, it's more personal like that. And now I go back and look at it, and I'm like, you know, sometimes you can have, like, arguments or scuffles, but you can still be together, like l like my mom's right now. That might be the first time I think I've ever said I have two moms on my channel. Um, I know that's kind of like a, whoa, big kind of thing. But I feel like it's okay to say because you guys are accepting. So, yeah. I know it's weird that I went this far in depth with a Disney Channel show about a talking dog. I hope you guys understand, though. So I'm going to finish up these goldfish. Um, I know I said eating lunch. I'll name it eating goldfish. I'm talking about dog with a dog. With my dog. I'm kidding, not with my dog, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you're this far in the video, like, subscribe, comment. Um, go watch my Ant Farm video on the uh, original Luke Long channel. Um, it was like my older stuff, my older stuff on, is on that channel. Go ahead, go subscribe to Tyler Legend. And, um, go watch Dog of the Blog, go watch shows, go have a good spring break. Do whatever that makes you happy, guys. I love all y'all. Stay positive, stay great. Reppin' the LeBron, he's a warrior, he's a lion, he'd be getting through this, he is. Go have fun, live life, breathe air, I know somehow we're gonna get there and be so wonderful. That's iCarly, 
Might review that eventually too. But until then, guys, when I do see you again, I will be ending the video like this. Yo, 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 I'm back! Ah!